Hello my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. My dear friends, we will continue to check these pictures and we will answer to a lot of uh, things that you have. Also, it's very good for newcoming engineers on the marine industry to know such things. Uh, I like to thank you my dear friends that you have subscribed here to the channel and also you have pressed the bell button also don't forget that I upload uh, some information about uh, marine engineering in the community tab which I have on the channel and from there you can see uh, the most of the news Thank you again and let's start together. First of all, here we can see our oil water separator. Okay, it's not complete. We see the bottom because I like to share you some of details. First of all, my dear friends, all the machinery must be well, very well maintained. Uh, the filters inside must be clean and also we must show that the surfaces inside is not corroded. When we are making maintenance of our oil water separator and we look inside, there is a special coatings from the inner uh, part of these barrels. Uh, and these barrels, in uh, our language, we call them stages. First of all, we have the first stage where we have uh, some kind of filters which absorb the most of the oil and as you know the oil which is much much heavier will be contaminated on the top and will remain there so let's draw it uh, with other color so it will be uh, more representative of how the filters are inside so we have one place of the filters two maybe in some other separators will be three or four so what is happening a pump which is equipment our oil water separator send the water here the water uh, the water enters inside and going this kind of uh, passage so it passing from this pipe here and going to the second stage here we have different filters what is happening with the oil? All the oil will be accumulated here on the top and there is a trigger that uh, with a sensor, when the sensor will uh, be touched, it will cause a loop and will give also a signal to open, to close the discharge valve which is located somewhere here our discharge valve will be closed and the return all this oil will be sent to oily bilge uh, tank back so the operation will be interrupted and by this way and also we have our monitor which uh, controls the PPMs PPMs which is meaning parts per million so in nowadays we have 15 PPMs and slowly slowly uh, the regulations will be more strict the PPMs will go more down so our equipment will be much much better through the time in the other stage here in the stage number two we have different kind of filters set of filters which is more fine and will uh, accumulate the latest and the last uh, dirty which is present in the water so we must be careful to replace and to have in good condition our filters and also before we start in operation our oil water separator we will first ventilate all the stages and we will verify that our stages is completely filled uh, by water. For this reason, the manufacturer make a filling point here. Uh, this is the water, the clean water, which goes to the sensor 
and from this line there is a valve here which fills the first stage first and after that the water passes also from here and fills also the second stage step by step we fill them and after that also there is a heater available if you like also you can start the heater for better separation of the oil and then you can uh, start your oil water separator but before you start them you need to calibrate and to check that your uh, alarm is working properly first of all another thing that uh, I like to tell you my dear friends is to have in good condition all this place must be paint not any leakages and also all the piping here have seal numbers all the uh, piping also down below on the water water separator until the overboard there is a sign uh, plates it's a number which corresponds to this uh, flange here also my dear friends uh, from here coming all this ventilation from the chamber on this uh, scoop and also we receive our uh, sample which is running from the monitor from the uh, alarm monitor and passing here and you can see also the quality of the water that outlets we have also some uh, pressure valve set here for the reason that to protect from overpressure uh, our stages in case that uh, we have overpressure and some valve uh, it is close so the water from the stage will be released here and you will be able to check it uh, down below on the drain my dear friends also here we have the opportunity after the operation and when we are going for the maintenance we have a drain valve which it uh, possible to operate to switch for number one stage or number two to empty them uh, after operation or also you can empty for the maintenance that is uh, the reason that I, we have them so there is two ways after the operation you can drain them or there is another way that you can keep the water inside so your filters will be not be dried completely and after uh, they became more and more hard my opinion is to not drain the water it's much better and your oily water separator will be uh, ready for use and also uh, you will not make dirty uh, and you will not uh, return some water back again to the bilges this is one of the opinion so here also we can see some gauges from the filters before the filters and after the filters we have our uh, valve here our solenoid valve which operates the valve uh, to send overboard or uh, to the oily bilge we have also our scheme here we have our diagram which uh, shows it's here it shows all the valves and how to operate also there are some indications and uh, some details locally for the operator for anything they, they need just also to remind something and next my dear friends we come to our boiler feed water pumps which is located down on the bottom there is three of them and my dear friends this is a really really big pump so to set this pump working uh, if you have uh, one generator working okay you can start one it will be nothing nothing will happen uh, from the kilowatts if it's necessary to fill your boiler much much quicker in case uh, the level of the boiler 
is going down but first remember to stop the smaller the smaller feed water pump and also my dear friends you can see there is a vent valve in case that you lose uh, water and the enter of air happens from here you make the ventilation if the air bubbles trap inside and in what condition can happen that my dear friends in what condition this can happen if your gas gate or your hot well tank that is called uh, other otherwise uh, the level will fell down uh, less than one cubic this will happen and this will occur so what you will be able to do uh, you must quickly fill your hot oil tank and con uh, cascade tank that is true if that happens uh, the first thing that you will need to do is to stop the pump and i have that kind of experience uh, you must stop this pump to not running dry you must fill the gas gate and after to vent all the air which is accumulated here on the top so there will be something like that here inside trapped on this space on the top and then uh, after venting you can start your pump also my dear friends you can see that our uh, bearings here is uh, lubricated by uh, internal oil which is located fore and aft and the reason that the selection of our pump is horizontal due to the high weight of the components this is a really really a good selection to place them so my dear friends if you remember in the previous videos that i have told that our cooler is located on the top of these pumps and there was some pipes with corrosion flanges as you remember so if you have any leakages and you put that uh, protecting uh, tape everything all the drops will be going here so it's very good if you're making checks on the morning it's very good uh, in my opinion to check also on the top of this pump and around here because also you can see there's drains here and also when your visits uh, for the new engineers for third engineers and fourth engineers and also for apprentice it's good practice to know the build well levels how you left them and how you see them in the morning and compare them uh, on the evening when you are making your last uh, inspection so let's see what we have next okay we have three sets of this pump and the reason we have three pumps is not uh, only for spare okay uh, if we are running a boiler to 50 60 percent we can have a one pump which is quite enough uh, to give enough uh, cubic meters of water to the boiler okay depends of the steam evaporation of each auxiliary boiler but if you have the second boiler in operation it's better to set two pumps two feet pumps for the reason that uh, this pump if you have a boiler 50 percent and 50 percent running let's say you operate one pump this pump will go to 120 of its capacity so uh, if a pump working out of the range of uh, the capacity what is happening it's working out of operating ranges and cavitation for sure will occur so if i remember properly the pumps have some of the diagram something like that and there is uh, the best working conditions somewhere here and if we are using as i tell one pump and we have two boilers running on 50 and 60 about or 50 50 percentage of the load we will have this pump running on the maximum so the better to use two pumps when you are running uh, two boilers 
And also, my dear friends, don't forget about the running hours that I have set. You must distribute it evenly, all the running hours uh, between the pump. It's really, really important that so all the pumps have uh, close hours of running hours. My dear friends, thank you that you have stayed tuned with Adventure Story. Don't forget to check my previous videos and also don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button. Don't forget also to check the descriptions down below and also join the community tab where you can find some news, interesting news about Marina Genie. Thank you again and bye bye.